today I want to talk about a topic that weirdly we all know, all have, or are in the receiving end of it, and is a big part of personal development, but very few coaches actually talk about, very few people in the world of personal development actually talk about. The topic is resentment. And if you want to lead a life yourself with more positive emotions, with a better sense of flow, better relationship, uh, maybe being in service, the purpose and meaning, uh, want nothing to stand in the way of your achievement and your accomplishment and your well-being, or you're working with others, then resentment is going to come up over and over, which is interesting where no one is talking about it. And I'm not talking about the resentments per se, just the resentments that are big, like significant emotional events in someone's past, kind of stuff that I teach uh, coaches and motivational speakers and psychologists um, in my own master practitioner. I just finished one here in Los Angeles, actually. Um, next training coming up is actually sold out in Amsterdam. Then we have Mexico, and we're back here in Venice Beach next year. And I'm also talking about the type of resentment that are about, you know, that colleague that, that got the promotion or the resentment maybe that you have in, uh, with a neighbor or you feel that somebody's getting better treatment than you do. Um, you know, the, the more like simple day-to-day -day resentments. And, and those things are all negative emotions and they can all get in our way. And I think if we want to start resolving resentments within ourselves, or we want to start to help others to resolve their own resentment, but also to be on the receiving end of resentment, right? If, if someone else resents you. And I think one thing that we need to start doing then in this case to actually do better is to define what that is. Now for most people, resentment is about justice. It's about the other, something that is morally wrong is happening and then many times it's negatively affecting yourself right so something something is not right something is not fair maybe and so first of all it's a perception so you it's 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 highly subjective right so if we maybe would look at that colleague that that got that promotion if we as a neutral observer and we would be a scientist we might be able to say well you actually don't deserve the promotion your colleague actually does and even though your resume may be better maybe that that uh, that colleague of yours was more emotionally equipped maybe that person actually did a better job networking sucking up anyway so you get the idea right so the resentment is very subjective the reason why we want we don't want to have resentment is very simple well other than it's a negative emotion to be more specific it actually can cause depression, it can cause anxiety, and it can cause anger. And those things are not healthy for us. Long term, that can spin into a lot of health issues, not just unhappiness. So physical and mental health is affected by having resentment. So what are simple ways to think about this? Well, I think, first of all, is to really start owning for yourself what resentment is, allows you to already get some clarity, right? If it's someone else that you're working with in the world of personal development, let's say you're a coach, you want to ask questions like, what specifically is resentment to you? Who specifically is involved? How specifically is this affecting their, themselves emotionally? You know, what's the, the level of the emotion from a scale of one to 10? How does this affect your life from a scale of one to 10? You need to start kind of digging into what is this resentment? If I were to take it apart, like a, like a TV, what kind of parts would there be to it? right rather than why okay so resentment I think the moment we start understanding as a negative we will be more willing to work with that okay so that's one next week I'm gonna make a second resentment video and that resentment video actually gives the opposite of resentment and a solution there a, a coaching solution a personal development tool solution there today I'd like to talk about some of options other than reflection, journaling, and walking on this, how the resentment that you have is actually harming your, your mind and your, and, and your body is that 
you could step into the other person's shoes. And you can do that from the day that they were born, which means that you're having their life, right? Maybe then you get a better idea as from that position, we call that the second perceptual position in NLP. If you roll that movie, then maybe you get a better idea as to what could be the reason that this person acts this way. But you can also get an idea is that maybe for that person, it wasn't morally wrong. You know, you can see, you can walk a mile in their shoes. There's very few people that wake up in the morning and say, hey, let's do something morally wrong. Let me be an asshole today, right? And when someone is resentful of us, we can do that for ourselves. Like, well, yeah, but you know, and so you need to be able to do that for someone else as well. If that doesn't work, you, you can also look at it from what we call the third perceptual position, dissociation. You kind of look at that person's life like a movie. And maybe that can give you, as a scientist, as a neutral observer without emotions, other ideas. You can also ask, well, what is the, what is the positive intent by, by the behavior of that other person that causes you to be resentful? What's the positive intent? Was there maybe a real good reason why they were doing this? Were they fulfilling a, a value? Not necessarily one against you, um, but to examine it from that point of view and what is it that you learn there. And so those are things where you can really make a great start to figuring out how is resentment serving you and how important it is to actually let go of it. Because when you are resentful, you are in essence giving your power away. You're giving that other person energy rather than give that energy to yourself. See you around.